Hi, it's me again. I decided to do another one of these videos. Um, the last one got quite a lot of interest, which uh, surprised me actually. Quite a few people said they wanted to, to see more. So I thought I'd show a little bit more on this one. Um, as you can see, I've done a little bit more since the last time. I've filled in uh, these little pieces here. Uh, I've done the ears as well, and he's got the range finder, which, which moves. Um, again, just added all these little bits of detail in a little bit kind of topically painted. Uh, what I've done here, as you can see, I've done the other ear as well. Still got a little bit of detail to paint here. But what I have done is I've masked up these kill stripes. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, put the masking fluid on. Um, so where they have their little bit of weathering. I've got these templates, um, which I've been using just for reference. So I'm gonna use these and kind of paint on the mask all. And then I'm gonna airbrush them on so you can see how that works. I've still got to cut the visor out yet as well. So, and uh, shape that to fit. But just using the mask all and a little brush, what I'm gonna do is just mask these out. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long and be uh, too boring to watch. So like I said in the last video, mask all is basically it's just latex with a little bit of colour in it. Uh, so you can see where you've gone and where you've put it, which makes it a lot easier. Quite a few people were saying to me in the last video all the different things that they've um, what they've used for masking, masking flu instead of masking fluid. It's uh, it's quite interesting to kind of um, see what other what other people come up with really, because there's so many different ways of doing things. We're also on these bits, just masking, putting the masking fluid over where the silver is, because obviously we don't want to um, repaint that either. Obviously, this being on a curve, it, it uh, they don't, they're not matching up perfectly, but they're just obviously you can see I've got them numbered, so we can just see where we're going with that. You can see these details here, I just hand painted these on as well and um, once I've done these I'll paint in these little areas here as well. And a couple of these kill stripes have got little bits that come off the side of them so what I've done is I've um, just cut into the tape for that which I've already done there. And you can't see in this piece of um, template that I've got up here, but the kill stripes actually range from yellow on this end to orange on the right hand side. And I've saved these to last because I thought it would be kind of quite a nice finishing touch to see it kind of the final bit that kind of brings it all together really. So they're nearly there. So with these, we're just putting it obviously in the places that we don't want the um, the yellow and the orange to go. So it's just masking, masking those off. Right. Yeah. Doesn't always sit that well on the silver because it's so shiny. So in those places, I just put a little bit more on top. Missed a bit there. So 
so that's those bits done. You can just wash the mask oil out in uh, water as well, which is quite handy. But you don't want to leave your brush too long, otherwise it, it will die. Right, so now that that's on there, I can go ahead and mask up the rest of it, because obviously we don't want to get overspray on anything. So I've just got a carrier bag here, which I've just cut in half and uh, taping on, as you can see, which is quite handy. Because obviously being plastic, you know that no, uh, no paint is going to kind of penetrate through it and ruin all the lovely paint job that you've done underneath. Just gonna mask up the side of these, that should be adequate. make sure everything's down nice and flat so you don't have anything kind of seeping in behind because it, would, it wouldn't be very good to ruin it at this point. Nearly there. I've pre-mixed all my colours up as well. I'm just using acrylic paint. I'm not massively a fan of enamel myself so just preferring to use acrylic. Obviously it's something I've got a lot of at home so if I'm not happy with any colour, it's easy to just mix a slightly different tone and kind of go over the top. Just make sure we're fully covered here. Not that we're spraying that far, but sometimes airbrushes have a lovely uh, little spluttering session. All right, so there we go. Just make sure everything's all uh, down nicely. Let's check where you can see that. Right, so as I said, it ranges from yellow to orange. So I'm gonna spray the whole of it yellow to start with. So I'll just get my airbrush ready. Right, this airbrush might be a little bit noisy because it's uh, only got a small cylinder, so it stays on the whole time. So. Running a little bit of water through first. Make sure everything's clear that was in there before. Just using my yellow paint here. a light dust all over to start with just kind of mist it in normally like to do that first just turn that off a second uh, normally just mist it mist the first coat in and then just use a hairdryer just dry that off and then the coats on top next will stick a little bit better Again, helps if I turn the airbrush on, and press her on. Just going over a few times to make sure we build that colour up nicely. Yellow done. Now you're just gonna clean the brush out. I was throwing it all over myself. So 
anyway, not a particularly interesting part of the video here, but uh, the crucial part is always keep your airbrush nice and clean. Um, always clean it out in between colours, um, and if you're using it for a long time, clean it out several times through as well, because once you get them dirty or clogged up, they, uh, they can be a little bit of a nightmare. Sure that's out there. That yellow was a little bit thick, which is why it was a little bit spluttery. So before I go on with the orange, just dry that off a little bit with a hairdryer. orange ready as well. Right. So this is the orange I've got going on top. I'm just going to thin that down a little bit more so it flows through the airbrush better. So what I'm going to do with this is just spray it um, heavy on the right and then fade it in to the left. So turn the pressure down a little bit. a little bit heavy with it you can always go back and put a little bit of yellow back over the top uh, I don't think that